which is the UK. Two videos at a time. That's the canal flowing towards Manchester. I've been asking people the way here. So I knew I hadn't gone too far because I, I felt I could walk too far to find Middleton and Haywood. Of course, it's like a massive space in between them where they're actually closer together, either by road, even on foot. It's like a big ring that goes way out, but it has to follow the water channel, I suppose. So, Manchester, UK. Oh, yeah, that's, um, that's the people. knew where the section was for Haywood. We've all been mentioning where I'm actually stood now. Which as you can see is a rather pretty little place. It's obviously the place where two parts of the canal split and join or whatever you want to call it. But that's not what I was talking about. So it splits here, I'm on an island. It comes from that direction. It's some form of river find out but it does split the right but there's the standard clog standard canal lock that we've seen all the way along but I know where I'm looking for because I know my history you see you can see where they modernised that it's got a concrete culvert now so it was closed all the section was filled with rubbish and all sorts and it, you know they've done a good job to get it back to its former glory I'll give them that it's good for me because I love it you get some of the walls but it's been redone you can see because some of the concrete that's in there so when it's been reopened in the early 80s I've seen this on lots of places it says like with the Haywood link which is no longer and it, they show this split in here yeah they show it splitting along here as it sails off down there as forces will flow down with gravity so the boats are in the 1800s pulled by horses they have gas cylinder engines in some steam powered in others so the time we get to say 1880 we're just coming up to the 1900s it's starting to use red brick and more modern things. You can see, I don't know if you can make it out, just there, there's a sort of weir or a drop. That's it, that's the key lock, and it's different to all the others we've seen. I'll prove it in a minute if I can get over there. I'm going to cross over the lock so the story will take a turn as I just jump up onto the top of the brow and get the lock over there so there's a lock there and the lock goes down and you'll see me at the top so I'm not skiving Culvert drops down, so although it does split here, coincidentally, behind this little bush here, which stops other canal boats using that section, so that's decommissioned, people are thinking this is the point I'm looking for. See over there in the distance, most people won't know what I'm on about, so I'll get a closer look and my zoom. It's in the centre of the screen now there, the culvert hole. And I'll come back from there, perfectly straight line, turns the canal at that point, and you can see a different lock system to the others. That goes to Haywood. Okay, I'm looking for an old farm. It's been there since 1830. In 1880, it's still there, and the farm's located behind me. That bridge is the old farm. There's a hill with a church. I think it's Holy Trinity or. Well, it might be an All Saints again, but I'm saying I can see it, and it's on a hill. There's a farm, and that means there's enough room there for six railways to fit. And what would you say? All in a line. And guess what? At the very far field, 
that's the still existing train line so six different rails going to Liverpool Birmingham all sorts of places but the canal has gone it's filled in so it doesn't exist anymore you'll just find evidence like that and holes under the railways and that's your Haywood link up canal so Haywood is also linked see I know what I'm looking for but most people think and I've even seen it on Wikipedia it splits here and they're the two channels but it's not that's the other channel there this is something to do with a reservoir feeder system and we're going to go and have a look now okay ping not done that for a while basically when I first started editing I started pretending there's an old 70s show called rent a ghost and I just love that special effect where he suddenly appeared and they just paused the camera that was the only effect they had up for the BBC children's department then while well, New York and California were coming out with the likes of the Dukes of Hazard and Knight Rider and A-Team and all the rest of it we've got Doctor Who he's got a can travel through dimensions and times you can go to the other end of the universe but a thousand years ago but chooses to go to present day London every time it could be something to do with the BBC budget I'm not sure anyway while Knight Rider's jumping through the air smashing Pontiacs to pieces all over you know Palm Beach and all that we got Doctor Who running around BBC Studios trying to pretend Kylie Minogue belongs in the series but joking aside I do actually like Doctor Who I'm a very big sci-fi fan it's a shame our budget wasn't bigger so, you know it still took off but like, you know if they had the Cybermen if it was Star Trek they'd, they'd look real like the Borg did just saying modern versions are better but the TARDIS flies, but it doesn't need to. You just go and wait. Where are they going in the destination? It's a time machine. Travels through different destinations. Yeah, what's that one where it's flying through the air with like Catherine Tate hanging out of it? So what are they doing? You know what I mean? What are they doing? And they'll go and meet people that, that don't exist in the past, like Jesus and stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'll have a Florence Nightingale episode. So it's teaching kids about history. I get it, but got to up your game a bit so this goes under a modern road culvert as I said and I said I'd also explain so we can hear the noise of the cars that went right through in the 70s and they just blocked the canal off they didn't care smashed bits of wood to pieces probably to make fires while they were building it keep them warm that's the way it was they didn't have any respect for history they didn't really know people like Fred did and they did but they were more enthusiasts luckily not a typical historian, he loves his, the history of the engineering but his fascination is with the engines themselves so just need to head back before I disappear so the Haywood Canal section there's a swing bridge which is, I'm absolutely gutted about and I'm trying to locate swing bridge is a bridge that will it pivots round in the middle of the canal so it can either face one way or the other and it's got water on it so it's like an aqueduct that pivots so it connects the Haywood Canal into here or it, it channels off straight in a straight line so people can walk across I think so the footpath could turn and it had canal water in so the boats could then go through I love that sort of stuff so I don't want to head off somewhere where I'm not sure look at that 1970s approach to engineering there I get this for the wacky world of engineering in the 70s. This is fantastic. This is a barge. I'm, this is a floating passageway underneath. This. It's, on the, it's on the canal. So there's no footpath because it's smashed its pieces. So they've had to put the road in. It costs, you know what I mean? So when the canal enthusiasts have reopened it, it's like when you go on the fair. You know, when you're going across on the fun fair, and you're going on the fun house. And they've got the wobbly thing. So we're going up there. So I've got a sneaking suspicion it's part of a header reservoir system. But uh, yeah, it vibrating. I'm actually floating about, rocking about on it. Got a boat. Quite a clever idea, but like I say, it's not pretty, is it? Just a steel floating structure. Like something you'd use as a gangway to get on a boat. In the distance, it looks like it's closed off, but it actually isn't. I'm not wandering off too far, I don't want to go to Rochdale 
like I said, I know where I'm at and I want to get another shot of where the canal leads off to Haywood. So I'm in a place, the area is called Trub. T U, no sorry. I'm in an area called Trub. T R U B. Can't get over how that is just so unusual. That's what I love about waterways though. And then here is obviously a lock gate system. So I'll try and find evidence of a swing gate. But you can see evidence of the six train lines. We saw them. It's breaking down now because these six train lines are obviously not there anymore. Rail sidings. And of course at this time they're all steam trains. So you'd have six steam trains in a line. So you need a lot of water for them. Water for this. Let's find out how they fed them steam trains. But the, most, the typical bio it's around 36,000 litres on the bigger engines. So that'll last you quite a while, but the smaller ones, you know, they're filling up in between stations three times on the main line, maybe sometimes. So just one quick section. Spoke to another friendly person. Still people walk on these canals. Concrete culverted section again. With the old bridge at the top. So I knew I was in the right area because I looked at maps from 1750, 1850. 1912 modern day google whatever maps all kinds of things so what i knew i was looking for was the open area there with the trains there's no motorway so that you can just imagine isn't there so the train lines go right through where the motorway is now and you can hear and there's another section of the canal look as i said it's not a canal it's a feeder it starts there starts there and it meets the canal so those people are saying where it splits in two yeah it's here mate or whatever it's, this isn't this is a feeder yeah for the main canal which is there and like I say in the old maps there's a farm Trub farm which is gone and it would have gone through that gate there at the bottom a wooden gate back then Trub farm 1880 as old as it can be. So was the church there in Trub Village, Trub Road. The modern housing estate wasn't there, obviously. There were sites of mills, same as everywhere. Bleach works, the usual. Not down. That's been built. The church remains, and the canal remains. Supermarkets are modern. And this is an area called Trub. That's Trub Road. That's the site of six railway lines, and there is only one left existing. And this is the actual where the swing bridge was situated. Would have been on that block in front of us. Yeah. We can't get it exactly now. That what I saw over there is an exact straight line. But you can get six train lines in there, no question. And then one goes off to Castleton, they all go wherever they like. Just over there in that area, behind the canal. So If there were to still be swing bridge, it'd be sighted, that'd be its middle post there, and it can turn, so we can't really explain it. I'm going to look, I will explain that one day, or maybe have a look at dub over that. But I knew we were in the right area because of the farm and the church. So somewhere along there is the channel, we're in the right area before by the way, that's the right channel. <laughs> 